In this video, we're going to go over some tips in regards to customer relations, and that's in particular, we're talking about uh, conversation starters, things you can talk about. In in particular, we're talking to the military community, frontline workers, police, police officers, um, uh, firefighters, you know, frontline workers in general, nurses, doctors, etc., uh, people that uh, have a, a career that's service-based. So um, some things to be aware of, okay, prior to uh, asking some questions is be cautious, at least be aware that some people have like PTSD. They do not like to revisit uh, some of the details of their military service or their um, stressful career affiliated events, you know, being a, a nurse, seeing some crazy stuff during COVID or whatever it is. So just be cautious, you know, sense people's body languages, uh, their excitement when they uh, talk about, uh, you know, answer a question in their tone of voice, you know, just sense. I'll say, admittedly, I've asked... Um, a service member that was in the Korean War, uh, a question that in hindsight, uh, he just didn't, he wasn't too excited to a answer. So that was a good indicator, like shut it off. Don't ask any more questions about that. So admittedly, I've done this, but just be cautious, be aware. Um, why I'm bringing th these questions up is do the little things as emphasized in other videos. Take the time, slow it down, ask questions. This is huge to build rapport uh, and to deliver just a, a, a uh, you know, over deliver and under promise and over deliver in the customer service experience is us taking the time, ask some questions, have a conversation, be personable. You know, th it's, we're going to be significantly more likely to be invited back if that person is impressed with uh, the series of questions or the conversation, or they enjoyed your company beyond just doing like the functional job of cleaning the gutter. Like they're going to get the gutter clean no matter who they hire. So th the only reason they're, they're paying us a little bit more is because we do the little things like have a conversations with them. So do these things, but be cautious in the context of talking with people that maybe have sensitive uh, sensitivities to some of the things that we're exposed to. So some things you can ask about um, are going to be like military members. You know, what branch did you serve in? Uh, what years did you serve? Um, if they're a nurse, you know, healthcare worker, what units did you work in? You know, were you an intensive care unit nurse or were you a floor nurse or where did you work? Uh, what made you want to join the military or be a nurse or become a police officer or firefighter? Um, lots of people have insp inspiring stories about that, or they wanted to do it since they were a kid. Um, do not ask, I'll say what made you want to join the military. For example, do not ask people like Vietnam vets, um, that question, because it's more than likely that they got like drafted. It wasn't their choice. They were forced to go into the military in some context, you know, Vietnam, I think Korea was one example. Um, so just be aware if someone looks like the age that there might be a certain, cohort, uh, try not to ask them about, you know, being drafted, uh, because that's something that could bring up bad memories, PTSD example, you know, for example, um, some other questions you can ask is, do you have any advice or life lessons you'd bestow upon me, you know, from your service? Um, that's one I like to ask, um, particularly to like military members. Um, I'll say in general, you know, these careers I mentioned, military, police, firefighters, nurses, you know, these are kind of like political type careers that attract a certain, um, uh, cohort of people oftentimes. So do not get into politics with these people. Okay. Do not bring up your preference for, uh, op opinions about war or, you know, the treatment of police, whatever it is, don't get into it. It is auxiliary to their careers, but don't get into touchy subjects like politics. Um, no matter what, one thing I do like, uh, to do is just thank them for their service, you know, thank them for, uh, you know, uh, their time in the military or their, service as a police officer or a firefighter, whatever it is, thank them for their service. Everyone likes to hear that. So that's some things, uh, when it comes to having conversations and doing the little things, when, uh, you get the opportunity to work for a military worker, frontline worker, you know, police officer, firefighter, uh, nurse, doctor, et cetera. So do the little things and have a conversation, be personable.